Nelson Day So loud out here I can't hear a thing Man, the fans are going wild and These drivers came to rock And no place else but Fox Knows how to do it NASCAR style Buggity, buggity, buggity Let's go racing, boys Hey, now, here we go race day Don't you be going slow Keep that pedal down on the floor Push it to the crowd, can't take no more than hey Until its demise in 1996, it was one of the most beloved tracks on the NASCAR circuit, but today it rises again. Hello everyone, welcome back to North Wilkesboro Speedway. We're getting set to go racing in round 12 of 14, the Holly Farms 400. This 5 eighths mile oval features an uphill back stretch and a downhill front stretch, something that should provide a fascinating challenge to our drivers today. Joey Logano set the fastest time during qualifying. He gets his first pole of the season, and he's looking to build on a strong run last week in Sonoma. Carl Edwards is the man who won the race last week in Sonoma. He starts today in sixth. Jeff Gordon sits second in points and is the only driver in this entire field to have raced at this track before, having won in 1996. He starts in 27th, only two spots ahead of your points leader, Kyle Busch. Two championship contenders are starting all the way in the back, and this will provide a great opportunity for Denny Hamlin and Jimmy Johnson to close the gap. Pre-race ceremonies are wrapping up, so we'll go trackside for the command to fire engines. Gentlemen, start your engine! Here's how they'll line up for today's race. So Joey Logano sets the fastest time during qualifying. Lining up outside of him is Kevin Harvick. In row two, it's a Penske lockout with Kurt Busch and Brad Keselowski. Row three on the inside, Jamie McMurray. Outside of him, Carl Edwards, last week's winner. Row four, starting seventh, is Dale Earnhardt Jr. And outside of him is Casey Kane. Starting ninth, six-time champion Jimmy Johnson. Starting tenth, Denny Hamlin. In row six on the inside, it's Matt Kenseth. To his outside, Tony Stewart. Row seven, David Rudiman starting on the inside in 13th. And in 14th, it's Jeff Burton. In row eight, starting 15th, is David Reagan. Outside of him, Robbie Gordon. In row nine, on the inside, is Mark Martin. To his outside in 18th, Martin Truex Jr. Inside of row 10 is Ryan Newman. To his outside, Greg Biffle. Starting in 21st, the 08 of Marcus Ambrose, and in 22nd, Clint Boyer. Row 12 on the inside is Sean Gossett, and in 24th, Brian Vickers. Starting 25th inside of row 13, Juan Pablo Montoya, to his outside, Elliot Sadler. Starting 27th is Jeff Gordon, in 28th, Bobby Labonte, and starting dead last on the field is your points leader, Kyle Busch. up there, pull those belts tight one more time. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. Joey Logano leads lap one, and already we've got a challenge for the lead. Harvick to the inside. Can't quite get it done. Logano hangs on on the outside. Jamie McMurray moves up into third. You're on board with Jamie McMurray right now as he goes underneath Kevin Harvick, takes away second. Jamie McMurray showing some speed very early here. Let's see if he has anything for the leader. Coming out of turn two, he's got a nose quarter panel. Jamie McMurray wants this lead. Out of turn four, he's got it. New leader, car number one. And look at Kyle Busch. He started dead last in 29th on the field. He just took over 16th from David Rudiman. Oh, Bush has been one of the best restarters in the whole field, but this is absolutely ridiculous. And only six laps in the book. 
back up front, Jamie McMurray has caught the lap cars. He puts Brian Vickers one lap down, and Joey Logano is going to take advantage of this. Joey Logano back to the lead. We've got a crash. Clint Boyer, Elliot Sadler, and Bobby Labonte all involved in that. I think Joey Logano may have even gotten a piece of that. I'm not sure. Looks like all the window nets are down. That is good news. We're going to take a quick commercial break and find out what happened when we get back. Welcome back to the Holly Farms 400, where pit stops are just getting underway now. Joey Logano pits from the lead. He likes the way his car's handling, but he's got a bit of front end damage. He couldn't quite avoid the wreck that happened in front of him. The good news is he doesn't think it'll affect the way the car's handling. He'll take four tires and fuel. Jamie McMurray started today fifth and rocketed to the lead. He's going to take four tires and fuel and a crank of wedge just to keep up with the track. Jamie McMurray wins the race off of Pitt Road, and as the field lines up behind the pace car again, we'll take a look at what brought out this caution. At the bottom of your screen here, Clint Boyer and Elliot Sadler come together. Very difficult to tell who got into who. Looks like it may have just been a racing incident. You can see Joey Logano locks up his brakes, but just can't quite avoid Elliot Sadler. Gives him a small little punt. That's what sent Elliot Sadler into the wall. Here's a look at it one more time, a little slower. Very difficult to pinpoint blame. You can see Logano's wheels lock up there. Good news is all drivers have been checked and released from the infield care center. And we are ready to go racing. Restart coming here on lap 10. The pace car is off and Jamie McMurray leads them back to the green flag. And Denny Hamlin takes it three wide, an aggressive move. Carl Edwards gets shuffled outside. And Kyle Busch also going three wide on that restart. Moves in behind Hamlin. He's up to sixth. Meanwhile, up front, Jimmy Johnson is challenging McMurray for the lead. Johnson has the advantage on the inside, but Jamie McMurray is not giving up. He still leads that lap. Johnson now with the nose out front, coming out of turn two. They're side by side for the lead, and Kyle Busch puts the bumper to Brad Keselowski. Jamie McMurray and Keselowski go sliding up the track, and Kyle Busch has moved into second. Has he used up all of his equipment? What does he have for our leader? Two laps to go, and the gap is closing. Jimmy Johnson still leads by about half a car length. White flag this time by. Kyle Busch has one lap to get it done. He makes a move. Kyle Busch on the inside. Johnson hangs on. Half a lap to go. Johnson takes a defensive line. Busch goes to the outside. They touch side by side. It's going to be a drag race, and he got him. Kyle Busch wins the closest finish in Goodyear Cup Series history. Goes worst to first. Absolutely unbelievable. So there is your margin of victory. Kyle Busch by about a splitter length. Just like Dale Earnhardt Sr. in 1991 gets it done on the outside. And as he celebrates, we'll take a look at our unofficial results. Kyle Busch gets the win, Jimmy Johnson finishes second, and Jamie McMurray brings home third and most laps led. Brad Keselowski finishes in fourth, and rounding out in your top five is Denny Hamlin. Then in sixth, it's Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, David Reagan, and Jeff Gordon. In 11th was Dale Earnhardt Jr., then Sean Gossett, Carl Edwards, and Martin Truex Jr. in 14th. Then Casey Kane, Matt Kenseth, Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, David Rudiman, and Juan Pablo Montoya to round out your top 20. Finally in 21st, Jeff Burton, then Ryan Newman, Greg Biffle, Brian Vickers, Marcus Ambrose, and Robbie Gordon, and Elliot Sadler, Clint Boyer, and Bobby Labonte were all caught up in that wreck on lap 7. And here's how the points stack up with just two races now left to go in the season. Kyle Busch extends his points lead to 18, Jeff Gordon still in second, Jimmy Johnson still in third, and Denny Hamlin still in fourth. And that's it. Everybody below fourth place has been mathematically eliminated. Mark Martin in fifth in points, Kevin Harvick in sixth, Kurt Busch in seventh, Carl Edwards and Sean Gossett tied for eighth, and Matt Kenseth in tenth. There's actually no position changes in the top ten this week. So with only four drivers left mathematically eligible for a championship, we will only briefly show you positions 11 through 20 and 21 through 29. 
Well, that'll do it for us here from North Wilkesboro. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you'll join us next week as we return to another classic track, Rockingham. We'll see you then. <laughs>